Hi everyone, it's Nicole for Plan with Nicole and today I am sharing my weekly classic spread for the week of March 28th through April 3rd, 2022. Today is all about the Pink Fresh Studio Rainbow Floral Washi. I actually have some cards over on my other channel where I am sharing stamping, stenciling, and die cutting with these. And then for my uh, Patreon, I am sharing some washi cards tonight, um, March 28th, 2022. So these are amazing new products. Pink Fresh Studio is a card making scrapbooking type of company, but if you have seen any of my past videos here on my planning channel where I've used Pink Fresh Studio washi. I love it for my planner. So they have washi that coordinates with some of their stamps, dies, and stencils. And I like to make my own washi stickers with the washi tape and die. So what I like to do is take my washi tape cut a section of it and you can see that the die will die cut a whole bunch at one time. I actually didn't die or trim my rainbow floral correctly. So I'm gonna have to run it through a couple of times cause I don't wanna waste any of those beautiful images, which is fine cause I need a lot of them for my spread today. But what you do is you pull the roll of washi out, you cut the amount you need that fits the design. I like to place it, like I said, on wax paper and then you run it through a die cutting machine. Now, I know some of you who are pure planners and don't do card making or other paper crafting may not know what a die cutting machine is. A die cutting machine is a machine that will take a steel rule or wafer thin die, these are wafer thin, and it will run it through and cut out the shape of the design. You have to have a die to do this, of course, but it is so, amazing because you end up with professional results like professional looking washi stickers and it's just really really fun to do. Um, I obviously since I am a card maker full-time I use my die cutting machine every day and I totally love that I'm able to kind of you know get more from it by die cutting my stickers, my washi stickers for my planner. Now I accidentally did not cut one of those past washi rolls correctly. Luckily you get a ton of washi on the roll. You're gonna see I am die cutting several sets of washi that I got. Um, the Dahlia Fuchsias, the rainbow floral that I did first, which is what I'm gonna focus on on my spread today. And I'm even gonna die cut some of the sunflowers, even though I know they're out of stock right now at Pink Fresh Studio since they ran a great fundraiser for the Ukraine. With that set, it will be coming back in stock, so stay tuned. I will link to that video because I did a planning spread with that at the end of this one if you wanna see another idea. Plus, I will list any of the Pink Fresh Studio washi type of spreads or where I've used Pink Fresh Studio washi down in the description below. I'm gonna place a piece of wax paper over this week's spread and then I am gonna start playing around with the components I want to use today. I decided to go <laughs> rainbow heavy again. I know that's not a surprise. I feel like lately I've just been using so many rainbow themed products, but hey, I think our motto on this channel is when in doubt, rainbow it out. And I don't think I wanna use the rainbow wreaths today. I generally like to use the wreath on my spread, but for whatever reason, I wasn't feeling it. I think I may try to incorporate it into my dashboard, dashboard spread this week. I'm thinking we're gonna get two rainbow spreads this week just because I love, love, love this washi so much. Uh, when Pink Fresh Studio reached out to me and asked if I wanted to uh, participate in their blog hop, I this was the first one I wanted. I'm gonna combine this Indigo Mickey sticker with my rainbow stickers. And I originally thought I would do quite a bit more Disney on my spread, but I think 
we're going to keep it pretty minimal. I think it's really mostly going to be Mickey. I am going to use a few boxes and things from another Indigo sticker book, but we're going to frame up this middle section with florals along the bottom and along the top. And I love intermixing this Disney sticker into that design. It gives a little height. It breaks up the design through the middle of the spread and it adds that Disney touch that you guys, if you've been here for a while, you know I love on my spreads. Um, I do want to take a minute and remind everyone to please like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I am really, really trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I know I've mentioned this before and I'm going to keep mentioning it till we get to a thousand subscribers. When I'm at a thousand subscribers, I am going to do a big giveaway here on my channel. So definitely stay tuned for that and please subscribe if you haven't already. I've moved my wax paper out of the way and I started by cutting up my washi and then I'm going to place it along this line. It's going to be really important for this spread because I'm actually not going to put boxes in that middle section for the most part. I'm going to do checklists and I'll probably add a box or two because Mickey takes up a pretty big chunk of that middle section. So I'm going to have to be creative with how I kind of plan for Tuesday. It's probably going to have to be up above or down below. That's totally fine. I don't mind that. You know, Tuesday is not a very busy day for me this week personally. My vertical spread is my personal family life type of spread. My dashboard is my work spread. But Tuesday, I don't have any appointments. I don't have anything really going big going on. So I think up above and down below will be plenty of room. I'm pretty sure when I share my finished spread, you're going to see, you know, maybe some additional boxes or things like that. Now, what I was doing with my craft knife, I actually whited out the wrong line. And so I, I whited it I use a white gel pen to white things out. And once it was dry, I just took the tip of my craft knife and very lightly scraped that off because I, like I said, I thought my flower was gonna go left and it went right. So I uh, just fixed that. Um, these Disney stickers, I don't love. I think that's way, way, way too much going on. Um, I don't wanna figure out a creative way to white that out and I was really set on this Mickey clear sticker from the large indigo book. I love these, even though they're called indigo and it is a deep dark blue, it almost to me is a neutral, if you will, like you would with gray or black. It's pretty basic, there's not a lot of color, which is going to allow our rainbow floral to shine. What I'm doing here is whiting out anything that I think might show through my clear sticker. I don't like black lines going through like the white of his shoes or definitely the white of his face. Back behind his ears, I don't have to worry about whiting that out. And also, I generally like a quote on my spreads, and I'm not going to have to add anything extra here because we have this cute quote going around Mickey. And it's leave a little sparkle, leave a little sparkle wherever you go, which I love. And you're going to see I'm going to add to that sparkle theme as we get a little further into the design process. I am also going to place my florals along the line up above and down below in rainbow order. Now, rainbow order doesn't necessarily mean I start with the pink or red color. I started with blue and then I'm just gonna work my way kind of back or out. Don't be afraid to trim apart your washi stickers cut them up. I'm going to show you how I reused a portion that I cut off to add more along the border here in a bit. There are lots of ways you can um, alter these to make them work perfectly for your spread. 
You'll notice that I use my white pen a lot as I'm working, as I'm trying to white out anywhere that my floral might overlap a black line. I just like to get rid of those black lines back behind my washi whenever possible. We're gonna move across to the right side of the spread. I use some tweezers with a pretty fine tip to peel that wax paper off the back. And then again, we're just going to line this up. These are super gorgeous. I can't say enough great things about this set of washi. I'm sure I'll be using it again, and I'm going to be using it for some cards. So it is, it's a winner for sure. Here is the green piece that I'm actually going to trim apart, and then I think I'll reuse a little bit of greenery right next to it. I'll even end up with one extra of this that I can then use to cover up that section in the sidebar where Minnie is, because she doesn't really go with the theme of my spread. I'm just gonna white out a portion of that line. Now I actually kind of decided after I had cut apart some of these and I wasn't cutting them exactly correctly that I was going to just start laying the washi down, trimming off the excess with my craft knife and ruler and then it makes it a little bit easier if I want to reuse portions to use them this way. Plus it my favorite way to trim is with my craft knife and ruler. I keep this little six inch, I think it's a little six inch ruler from Lawn Fawn and my craft knife in my little planner bag with my white jelly roll pen and tweezers so that they are always handy when I want to plan. And that, then we have some more of these little purple leaves and our little blue flower. Well, the blue flower has already made an appearance in this spread. So I'm going to use a little more of it over here since it's not next to Mickey and I don't need to leave quite as much room probably to write things because I'll have that space in the middle. And I want it to look a little different than it looks at the beginning of the line. Let's go ahead and peel off our wax paper. And I'm just going to pop that right there. And then we have our little purple, pinky, blue leaves that we will add to the very end. And I think we can reuse, I cut apart this one to use a little bit right next to Mickey. I think I can reuse this section over here so that I don't have any waste. Anytime I can eliminate some of the waste and use all the pieces I have, I try to do that. And let's just white out a little bit of this here. And then I'm gonna take my craft knife and ruler and trim off just these little tiny bits here. I'm just gonna very lightly take my craft knife. My April Currently page is on the back of here and I have a super fun Currently spread planned this month. I cannot wait to share that. So that will be coming soon as well. I know last week was a little light on the videos. This week is going to be kind of heavy, video heavy. I have a lot to share with you. So now that we have our entire top row done, I am going to do a whole bottom row. And I've already got one sticker and we're just going to start applying our washi stickers down along the bottom. These florals are so pretty, you guys. I love all of the Pink Fresh florals. And just to note that this will be a very heavy floral week because I'm going to showcase all of the Pink Fresh floral sets I got. I only got four. There's more in the release than just what I'm gonna be sharing this, but I'm going to be sharing spreads with the four washies I got. Plus I will be incorporating things from the Happy Planner um, 
there's going to be a new sale from the Happy Planner starting tomorrow. I will share more about that uh, tomorrow in that video. So I'll be using some sale products along with my washi. So please stay tuned for that. I'm really excited um, to be sharing more spreads and getting to, and a little bit later this week, I should have flip throughs. I know I am so behind on sharing flip throughs this year, but we're going to get back on track this week. And I have an unboxing video from the last sale from the Happy Planner. So hopefully some of those things are still on sale because I really love the stuff I picked up. So again, this is another, all of these are going to be repeats. You can see in the top row, that is all of the different rainbow florals you get. The only piece from this washi that I didn't use is the wreath. And that's just simply because I wanted to do a different kind of design. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use the wreath in my dashboard spread for the week. So stay tuned for that. If you're a card maker, obviously wreath cards are going to be amazing and you could do anything with that kind of design. So just beautiful. I think it would be really cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, I totally have a great idea. It just came to me during this. Um, I will share it soon. <laughs> I'm going to do a spread with those wreaths, so stay tuned for that. Again, this is going to be another little repeat, and I decided to maybe not use quite as much of the blue, so we used a lot in the upper part on this side of the spread, and then a kind of a mid amount of this particular washi sticker um, next to Mickey. So I'm only going to use a teeny tiny little bit right there, maybe a little less than what I used on either of the other ones. We've got our little rainbow leaves here in purple, pink, and red maybe, or purple, pink, and blue. And I'm going to use quite a bit of this one. Have it kind of trail down. Let's white out our line where it's going to overlap. And let's go ahead and trim that up before we grab our last couple of stickers and finish this. You can always save any of the bigger pieces if you think you can use them on uh, other projects or maybe even along your border. And then I've got the rest of my images, we're kind of just repeating like what's at the beginning of this line. But again, I'm just trying to move and, and rotate, I guess I should say, my images a bit so that they look a little different than what I've already done. So I used a little bit less of this little peach flower. And then here are the orange and yellow leaves. And we're going to just white out a little section here. And that's going to be it for our border. Now, I completely did not realize that I turned my camera off. So putting in some of my checklists from the Disney Indigo sticker book, I missed doing that. So you're going to instantly see that I have added some stickers, checklists, a couple of box, a couple of like a little appointment stickers layered in here and there into that middle section. So the middle section is basically where I'm planning on writing the majority of my stuff, but I'm sure I'll be adding there's extra room down below. I'm going to have a full spread by the time the week is done. And then because my sentiment says leave a little sparkle wherever you go, I felt like we needed sparkles. If you've been here for a while, you know my love of the sparkles in the Happy Planner sticker books. These are from the Gratitude sticker book. This was, I believe, a new one from the spring release, if I'm not mistaken. I love this sticker book. It is gorgeous. But I'm going to take these gold sparkles and I'm going to scatter them just around some of the florals in my spread. 
so that there's little touches of sparkle. So we started around Mickey and then I'm going to extend some just along the floral borders a little bit. I think it adds to the overall finished feel of my spread. Like I said, it's very subtle, but I am all about these little sparkly stickers. I think we'll even add, let's add a few more next to Mickey. Kind of just layering it over that clear sticker that's already there, but I don't wanna layer it over my box sticker. I'm just gonna carefully peel that corner up and slide this underneath. There we go. So those again are from the Gratitude sticker book. Then I do want to cover up Mini. I will be using traditional whiteout to white out Mini and add my leftover Pink Fresh Studio floral washi sticker to her. And I'm going to leave my sidebar pretty well open. I did this last week as well. Gives me extra space to write if I need to. You know, I, I can leave it plain if I want to as well. I feel like there's a lot going on in the middle of my spread, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, and then I do, oh, here's that whiteout. And I am using traditional whiteout because that's much quicker and this will cover up most of that. The final thing that I want to do for my spread this week is... I think I want to add some butterflies up around the florals along the top edge. I think that would be really pretty. So I am going to kind of peel off my washi I used to hold this in place. We're going to trim off anything overhanging. I decided to use some of these Papillion butterfly stickers. Let me look and double check. I think I want to use these a little bit smaller yellow stickers. Let me put this guy back. I think we'll use this one. And an orange one from here. I think from that same sheet. And then I did see a blue one a little bit further back. I think we'll, we'll use that as well. And I instantly love the addition of the butterflies on my spread. I think they're so, so fun. I love how they look with the floral rainbow stickers. And just a few, we don't need a ton, just a few are gonna be enough to finish this up. Where do I wanna, oh no, not there. Right there, yes, perfect. And that is it. Thank you guys so very much for joining me for my weekly vertical spread featuring Pink Fresh Studio Washi as well as Happy Planner stickers. The supplies I use to create my spread are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new planning video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.